girls' school in Manfi, in the eastern region of Ghana, conquered the world. These young girls, who come from different backgrounds, different areas and different locations in this country, these young girls that are made up of the poor and the rich, sit together, work together to pursue their dreams and their childhood fantasies without barriers. And with an educational system that is preparing them to be ready and compete with their colleagues anywhere in the world. These are not rhetoric. These things are happening in Ghana under the free senior high school education. And you can see these girls nicely dressed, showcasing the beautiful Kente in the United States of America. Again, we are all witnesses to the stellar performance and sheer brilliance that these students exhibit during the National Science and Mass Queen competition in Ghana. We have also been aware of the exploits from, of students from the Efia Kobi Ampium Girls Senior High School who are modeling flying aeroplanes and the achievement of other senior high schools in this country. The performance of these students in the Wasi, therefore, do not come as a surprise to parents, guardians, and well wishers who are following and monitoring the performance of these children and what they are doing in the schools with the assistance of their teachers. You remember the young Thomas Amweni, this young man who had eight A's in the Wasi exams. Yes, the young boy from Adeso Presby Senior High School, who had been left without hope and was stuck with subsistence farming in the Upper West Akim district of this country. He was supported, given a scholarship by government to study in the university in the United Kingdom. Today, this student that was a product of Free Senior High School and had this sterling performance during the WASE exams is currently one of the best performing students in this first class university in the UK. How is a boy who cheated, as a result got eight A's, still topping in the United Kingdom and making Ghana proud? How is that possible? Across the world today, many young Ghanaians are lifting the flag of Ghana, lifting it very high and doing amazing things academically. And these things are not only reflecting in the WASI results, but they are happening in other spaces, and we are all seeing it. The least one can do in this situation is to appreciate the efforts and sacrifices of these students. They are teachers, parents, and all stakeholders that support them for them to perform well. If you do not want to commend government because, of course, it goes against you, the least you can do is to appreciate these children and not to run them down. It is complete total disrespect and from no other person than a former president who should not, who should know better to be running down our young children and calling them names. If he cannot appreciate the consistent effort of these teachers from schools like the Keta Senior High School, St. James Seminary in Sunyane, Prempe College, Presec Legon, Manfe Methodist Girls, Wesley Girls Senior High School, my beloved Latte Presby Senior High Technical School, that for the first time is producing students who are coming up with six A's, five A's, and four A's. If he cannot appreciate the efforts of these students, their parents, and their teachers, then he should stop insulting them blatantly, insulting their intelligence, and running down their sacrifices. Till this moment, ladies and gentlemen, the entire country is in shock as to how the incompetent, corrupt, and failed former president could unashamedly attempt to denigrate the provision of tablets for senior high school students. That one too, which would quicken the transformation processes of our senior high school education into the digital area, and for them to be ready for the world ahead of them. For someone who has been a gracious beneficiary of the Ghanaian education system in the past, it is problematic for all of us to find this failed former president set his eyes and heart on and bitterness against these young Ghanaians as they benefit from the revolutionized education system. The rollout of one student, one tablet policy have been hard to take for the NDC 
and the president. Of course, for them, it's a big hit because they failed to deliver on the same promise they made in his 2016 State of the Nation address. But it is certainly welcome news for all Ghanaians, especially students in the senior high schools, that today our children are benefiting from one student, one tablet. And I'm sure you all recall the comments our former president made. In fact, he's on record to have said, he's on record to have said, and I'm sure the video is calling for all of us to see, this is a former president of the Republic of Ghana, the man who promised the whole of this country that he was going to give children tablets to deliver textbooks, to deliver revision notes, to deliver past questions, asking the relevance of one student, one tablet to this May because in 20, some of them would be 24. coming 18 years and above. Some are 18 already, and they are going to be the ones voting. So this is a gift to entice them to vote for the, uh, the current government. Otherwise, if you are using 1.3 billion cities to give pre-tertiary students laptop, our priority would have been different. There are other things begging for funding in our educational system than, than, than those laptops. Flashback. And we're going to pilot the use of electronic textbooks at the secondary level, uh, at junior high school and secondary level. And so students will receive tablets that have all their core textbooks on the tablet. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am sure at this point you can all clearly identify the hypocrisy, the contradictions of a failed former president. You promised these children in 2016 that you're going to give them tablets. You lost elections because you could not deliver. Fast forward 2023, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party, announced that we, the New Patriotic Party, were going to distribute tablets to students of senior high school in this country. The NDC, in their usual impossibility character and posture, came out to ridicule this announcement, hoping it will never come to reality. But on the heels of the hard-working Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the policy was launched and distribution, as we speak, has started. These tablets come in to provide textbooks, past questions, lesson videos, and other educational resources to help teaching and learning and to also greatly save costs for both students and governments. Now the hypocrisy. Isn't it unfortunate that the third president and the NDC would in the full-blown of a hypocritical parade come to display their bitterness towards a policy and especially its beneficiaries who are all Ghanaians of this country. The incompetent former president, after promising to roll out and distribute tablets across this country and failing woefully to implement this promise, comes to question the priority of government to do the exact thing that he promised some seven years, eight years ago and could not deliver. If this is not double standards, if this is not hypocrisy, then I leave the judgment to the good people of this country. Further checks even goes on to bring up that the former president on page 70 of his 2020 manifesto, that is barely three and a half years ago, promised to distribute tablets to all senior high school students in this country, should they win power. So it's baffling, extremely baffling, how the same former president labels the distribution of tablets that he promised and couldn't deliver which this time, because it's going to free senior high school beneficiaries, he labels them misplaced and a bribe for votes. The question is, was he seeking to bribe the students when he promised them in 2016? Was he seeking to bribe them when he promised them in 2020? The biggest question we are all seeking to get answers from the former president is, what does he have against these innocent, dreaming senior high school beneficiaries? It is ridiculous. Are extremely ridiculous for a former president whose regime struggled to provide common chalk, chalk, chalk for our classrooms, and had the former second lady best out to tell Ghanaian teachers and schools that their government was not going to provide any chalk for teachers today, and they were not going to provide chalks for them tomorrow. It is ridiculous for him to come back and ask us 
why we are providing tablets for senior high schools. We are providing smart blackboards in our schools. And I'll be glad if we had a video to play. Just to remind Ghanaians the kind of person we have to deal with in election 2024. Today, we have transitioned. And across this country, we are slowly and gradually moving from chalk and blackboard. We've even moved slowly from filmmaker board. And we are heading towards smart boards in our schools. And the former president thinks that we are not ready to provide or for our children to have tablets. But they were ready to receive tablets at a time when even chalks could not be provided for this case. Gradually, the lid is falling off. And the country is becoming glaringly aware of the credibility deficit of the former president. What is more worrying is the sheer bitterness, unbelievably sheer bitterness, and the constant attacks that the former president met on these, constantly meting out on these free SHS beneficiaries, apparently for no reason. The former president needs to do away with this bitterness against the beneficiaries of free senior high school because clearly they cannot be blamed for his failure as a president. Neither can the two occasions that he lost his elections or was rejected by the people of Ghana be blamed on these senior high school beneficiaries. It is important that from today onwards, we see a complete seizure from the former president in the manner in which he goes about attacking the free senior high school beneficiaries. This government is particularly happy to indicate that since assumption of office in 2017, the education sector is one sector that has been given utmost priority for nearly seven constant years, and it's for a good reason. Indeed, education, we all agree, is a subject that is un unavoidable. Whatever else one is talking about, be it health, agriculture, ICT, industrialization, housing, security, even our macro economy. Education is at the top of all of them. It is imperative of a nation aiming to transform itself into a modern productive player in the global market to get its educational policies right. There is no part of Ghana or segment of our society that has not recognized the importance of education. We have all accepted that education is the best route to moving this country out of poverty. That is because the nation or, or nations that have made rapid progress around the world have all put education at the heart of their development agenda. It is for this reason that systematically and deliberately the government has been working to transform the various levels in the educational sector, looking at both soft and hard issues. This government is not only building the classrooms. This government is transforming education from the kindergarten level to the tertiary level, and we'll show that this afternoon. In our kindergarten schools, we are heavily investing in our teachers, equipping them with modern technologies, tailored for early childhood development. We have provided age-appropriate learning materials, play equipment, and resources for interactive and engaging learning experiences. Today, we are executing over 1,300 infrastructure interventions at the kindergarten level, setting new standards for childhood, early childhood education. These schools boast of cutting-edge technology, including smart boards, to enhance interactive learning experience. We are pleased to report that a substantial number of these projects are actually nearing completion, and they will be fully operational by the end of this year. And I'm sure a lot of us have seen the ultra-modern Kwabenya kindergarten school that we have operating as we speak this afternoon. And you can see it sliding on the video. Fellow Ghanaians, this is a kindergarten school in the Republic of Ghana. Like I said, the new patriotic party is not just building schools. We are transforming education in this country. Our children deserve to be ready for the world ahead of them. Our children deserve to be ready for the age of AI, robotics, and every single thing that is ahead of them as they grow. And that is what the Nana Adudanko Ekufuado, Baumia, and the MPP government is delivering to this country 
systematically. I challenged the ABC to show us the number of cages they built during their time. And not just the buildings, but show us their transformational agenda. We have boldly displayed the transformation we are bringing into our cages. And we are boldly displaying the schools we are building for the kindergartens. We want the people of Ghana, those whose decisions are going to be based on cages because their children are coming, to have the basis to make that decision. They should show us the cages they built. We put it side by side the cages we are showing you and let the people of Ghana decide. Now, at the primary level, in our primary schools today, the Akufuadu Baumia administration has focused a substantial number of its interventions on empowering our teachers through extensive training and capacity building. We have ensured a consistent provision of learning materials and embarked on targeted infrastructure upgrades to create conducive learning environments for our teachers and our students at a primary level. The implementation of the national standardized test for primary two and primary four peoples is a pivotal step towards assessing and improving learning outcomes. It is gratifying to reiterate that proficiency in reading for primary two students has seen a significant improvement from 2%, a mega 2% to a whopping 38%. 2% to 38%. That is what we call transformation. That's what we call improvement. Now, the junior high schools. Our focus at the junior high school has been to strengthen and have a lower secondary education that is robust and ready to unleash children that can fit into the modern senior high school system that we are introducing. 11 model schools are currently under construction. Each of these 11 model schools are designed with modern amenities to provide optimal learning environment for our kids. People of Ghana, this is the junior high school that the MPP government is introducing this country to. This is a new era, and this is the world that we are moving junior high school education towards. This is the model JHS that we are putting up, and this is what we are asking that the new patriotic party, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, is allowed to continue to gradually and systematically transform our schools to this level. The Ghana National Digital Literacy Project is ensuring that the the Ghana National Digital Literacy Project is ensuring that every student is equipped to thrive in the global digital economy. And so we are not listening to the field from our corrupt president. We are continuing with our digital transformation, and we are continuing with equipping our children. The heart of this endeavor lies in our, our primary schools, where the foundation of the learning is laid. Phase one of this digital project is focusing on establishing smart labs in 700 public junior high schools across the country. These labs will be equipped with a suite of tools, including tablets. The tablets that the former president doesn't want to hear will be made available in the labs at the junior high schools for these students to have a feel of them even before they get to the senior high school. Content access points will be there. Projectors will be in these labs robotics kits for STEM education, and essential storage and charging units. And we'll also show you some of the labs that we are building. And again, this is not a green book. This is not a 3D design. This is a lab that has been built and operational in a junior high school in this country. with robots at the junior high school. Our children are playing with lab coats at the junior high school. 
our play our children are playing with artificial intelligence at the junior high school this is what we started this is happening and as we speak it is ongoing in several schools and the transformation continues unabated the former failed corrupt and incompetent president does not believe in this and clearly he cannot be handed over this country to set all of these things back for us as a people additionally our commitment to inclusivity is shining through everything that we do as we provide 226 laptops and braille embosses to cater for the unique needs of our special learners in our special needs schools we are pleased to announce this project has successfully delivered smart lab hardware to some 484 schools across all the 16 regions of ghana this great achievement ensures that the technological infrastructure is firmly in place to facilitate digital learning the goal of the kufuado baumia government is to establish a smart lab in each of the 27,064 schools across ghana accompanied by comprehensive training for at least two teachers per school now tivet ladies and gentlemen technical vocational educational training has seen a comprehensive modernization and expansion drive new state-of-the-art facilities are under construction modernizing whilst existing ones are undergoing renovation and upgrading the dual tvet method which combines classroom learning with practical on the job training is changing how tvet education is delivered in this country this is ensuring that learners are well prepared for their chosen field and we'll show you some of the tvet um, 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 training centers as as we have it we are showing you these things so you know that these are not things that are happening on paper but these are things that are happening across the length and breadth of this country this ladies and gentlemen is a modern workshop what we used to call workshop this is a modern workshop for our favorite institutions in this country many or probably in japan or south korea but fellow guardians this is ghana and this is where nana de danko ekufado dr mahmoud baumia and the mpp is pushing this country towards all we are asking is let's finish this let's bring this to an end let's send this to every corner of this country let's send this to every school dotted across this country the schools who are benefiting from this can see the essence of it the other children in my district, in your district, in your village, in your community also deserve to have this. And once it is work in progress, it is only the new patriotic party that believe in this. We know how we brought this to bear and we know how we can finish this. In addition to this, a comprehensive review of TVET curricula has also been undertaken to align them with current industry demands and emerging technologies this process involved collaboration with industry stakeholders to identify the skills and competencies needed for a rapidly evolving job market the revised curricula aims to equip students with practical job ready skills that are in high demand today tvet education has also been made free and this has seen a major leap in the enrollment in the tvet institutions indeed According to the Ghana TVET report published by the Commission, total enrollment in government TVET institutions from year one to year three stood at 41,696 in 2016. 
ladies and gentlemen, by 2020, the data showed that we had increased to 100,086 students. With this new enrollment, the total number of enrollment in government TVET institutions today stands well over 157,681. Fellow Ghanaians, a whooping 100,000 increase in enrollment in our TVET institutions. Since the Ekufuado government in 2017, we have invested over $6.7 billion into TVET. And this is equipping their workshops, providing them with facilities, modernizing the, the institutions, which clearly is the free TVET education that we talk of. This is the greatest investment in TVET by any government since independence. And I challenge the failed former president to give us any other evidence contrary to what I have indicated. STEM. STEM education has become the cornerstone of progress and innovation in our modern world. It equips our youth with critical skills needed to navigate an increasingly technology-driven global landscape. Our efforts in the past seven years has been to position Ghana as a leader in STEM education and innovation on the African continent. The percentage of general science students in our schools has seen some 12 percent, has been some 12 percent for some time. But we are happy to state that the percentage of general science students in our schools today has risen to about 15 percent as in 2023, and is expected to even increase more to about 24 percent in 2024. Government is creating a STEM pipeline to increase STEM enrollment at the tertiary education level through pre-engineering programs. The pre-engineering program has been introduced to target senior high school graduates in general arts, visual arts, and business studies. The one-year pre-university program launched in February 2022 has admitted eight second cohort of students. The objective is to increase the talent pool from which engineers can be selected to ensure the number of engineering graduates that is a first degree and the HND increases from 6,500 to 30,000 by the year 2030. We have a vision, we have an objective, we have a goal, and we're working towards that. At the senior high school level, increasing enrollment in STEM has been made possible by operationalizing four newly constructed STEM model schools and converting three existing schools into STEM modern schools. The Ghana STEM Academy schools are the Abomosu STEM Academy, Awaso STEM Academy, Kasenpe STEM Academy, Bosom Chigiaos STEM Academy, the Accra High School STEM Center, and the Kwasi Secondary Technical School. These schools have been equipped with state-of-the-art laboratories, classrooms, dormitories, assembly halls, dining halls, and conducive environment to foster teaching and learning. These, there are some 2,400 students enrolled to general science and STEM in these seven schools. Government has completed the construction of 10 regional STEM centers to train a complete STEM pipeline from the primary level through JHS and the senior high school level. The Accra, school, Accra High School STEM Center is operation. 3D printing, coding, physics, chemistry, and biology for junior high schools and SHS students who are in the greater Accra region. Six other Other centers which are at 90% completion stage are located in the Fantimib School, so Senior High School, at the Bubu SHS, are between 30 to 50% completion. We have also embarked on route tooling of science laboratories, physics, chemistry, and biology of some 180 selected senior high schools. These are STEM centers in our regions. I'm going to show you why over 250 students on daily basis, basis visit the country determination to
state of the act. The learning experience like to sounds this is the century the And this is the transformation we promised the people of Ghana. And so, if we spend over 6.7 billion Ghana cities in Tibet, and we are making such massive investment in STEM, you could see the connection, the integration, and the competency, and the commitment of this government towards transforming education in this country once and for all. Our commitment to the growth of the creative art industry, the creative arts industry, is also evident through the ongoing construction of the very first senior high school in Ghana, dedicated solely to creative arts. And I'm sure a lot of you have not even heard that we have a senior high school dedicated solely to the creative arts in, in the Ashanti region. The school is currently at 70% completion level and is ready to admit its first year students this year. For us in the MPP, there could be no more fitting place for the sighting of the first of, the, of such edifice than the ancient, vibrant city of Kumasi, famed for its rich pedigree of culture, music, dance, folklore and drama and so the people of kumase kumawood are receiving their senior high school and very soon they will receive their junior high school I want to ensure out even at the age of the junior high level is able to follow their passion from the get-go government intends okay so this is the quad uh, model creative art school just before somebody say that where is it this is the school and this school is so it's a senior we know in this country am i right and this is not a polytechnic this is not a training teacher training college or nursing training college this is not a university this is a senior high school dedicated to bringing up creative arts talent, even at that level. Government more obsessed schools access to and hold at very ten. Corrupt. An incompetent former president has already given a clear indication that he will not spend on senior high school as much as the Nadan Koku for the government is spending on free SHS. He's indicated clearly, clearly that his priorities are different. And for us, that is fine. Every leader has his own priority. Now, Nadan Koku for this priority is to remove 
all barriers to senior high school education and that's what he's pursued the former president has clearly indicated that is not his priority and we are fine by that but this explains his constant consistent and persistent attack on one of the biggest and most impactful social intervention policies this country has ever seen since our independence indeed it is without any argument or any shred of doubt that free senior high policy in terms of impact it's either the first or second to just the national health insurance scheme which were both introduced by the new patriotic party the first government under president kofor opened up access at the primary and junior high school level president kofor introduced a lot of reforms at the basic school made fq free composite universal basic education a reality that was made under president kofor's time president kofor in addition to that brought innovations like the school feeding program and several other transformations simply to ensure that formal education becomes attractive for the poor and society so that money does not exclude or does not become an obstacle to any Ghanaian anywhere. This truly allowed the poor in our society to dream of pursuing formal education. And you all recall that this led to a surge in the enrollment numbers at the basic level. Now, now Dr. Kufadu seeing the vision President Kufo had and knowing what was coming, knew that something had to be done at the senior high school level to achieve these large numbers. The surge in enrollment coming from the junior high school as a result of the reforms that President Kufo had introduced. It was always coming and was right in our face. That is why, as far back as 2008, Nanado Kufado started talking about free senior high school education. His principle and understanding was simple. It was based on the fact that if the person is poor at the basic level and needed help to enroll for primary and GHS, then this same person will need help to pursue senior high school education. So clearly, President Kufo opened the floodgates. He removed cost as a barrier, incentivized the poor, so that even if in addition to being able to pay for the fees, you still don't have money to buy food for your child, he provides food. This led to increase in numbers at the basic school as far back as 2008. Now, now Dr. Kufado at that time knew what was coming, and he knew we were not ready. He knew these children that were poor at the basic level, that needed help before they could pursue basic education, will still need help to pursue senior high school education. His philosophy is that no child should be left behind because of money in the pursuit of education. It is the surest way to allow every child to dream and aspire to be great. It is quite evident that a recent barrage of attacks on the free SHS policy and its fisheries. The Kufado graduates, by the NDC's poems, he never expected it to be a reality. Back in the days when the MPP's flag bearer was championing the cause for free SHS as far back as 2008, the NDC was staunchly opposed to it, casting doubt on its feasibility and effectiveness. They even went as far as launching 40 TV adverts fellow Ghanaians, 40 TV adverts were run against a policy that was only being proposed as far back as 2008. They labeled the free SHS policy as an all lie be lie promise. However, the successful implementation of the free SHS policy in 2017 clearly has brought about monumental changes and advancements in our secondary education system and that is showing in the quality of children we are turning out. I think we should remind ourselves just a little bit about what we experienced Nana in 2008. Nana Kufuadu and the MPP going Nana Kufuadu and the MPP going all over the country shouting free SHS free SHS free SHS that is what you call all
quite evident. The significance, the significance of the free SHS policy evidently cannot be downplayed. It has not only opened doors and opportunities for countless young Ghanaians, but it's also leveled the playing field, allowing every child to dream, every child to dream big, and to achieve their fullest potential. It's a testament to the government's commitment to investing in the future of our nation and ensuring that no child is left behind. The free SHS policy has significantly increased access to secondary education without doubt for Ghanaian students, particularly for those from the low-income families. By removing financial barriers, more students have been able to enroll and complete their secondary education, thereby reducing the dropout rate and improving overall education attainment levels. The government has seen free, since free SHS implementation made efforts to address the challenges in our secondary education sector that have been exposed by the implementation of the policy, such as the inadequate distribution of infrastructure in the senior high schools in the country. Through this policy, the government has significantly expanded infrastructure in secondary institutions nationwide, ensuring that every Ghanaian child has access to quality education, regardless of their socioeconomic background or location. Today, Almost 80% of senior high schools have been provided with the needed infrastructure and the other enrollment numbers doubled. This includes the construction of new schools, dormitories, libraries, laboratories, and other facilities to accommodate the increased student population and enhance the learning environment. Since the implementation of free senior high school policy, there has been noticeable improvement in academic performance amongst the students with access to quality education and support from our hard-working teachers. Many students have excelled academically, achieving high scores in examinations such as the Wayek Wase examination. Students who benefited from the free SHS policy are excelling in their, in their post-secondary education in Ghana and across the world. Whereas other products are also receiving top sub-regional awards and honors. The success of free senior high school policy is a threat to the NDC and the perennial flag bearer who believes that Ghanaians have short memory. Ghanaians truly do not have short memories as he has always assumed. Ghanaians remember how students were sacked from class due to inability of their parents to pay their fees. Ghanaians remember how students were chased out of examination centers due to fees owed schools. Ghanaians remember how students' results were blocked because they owed school fees after completion. Ghanaians remember how over 100,000 Ghanaians were left on the streets because their parents could not afford to pay senior high school fees. This is a policy that a lot of Ghanaians are scratching their heads and wondering what the fate will be after Nana Adodanko Ekufuado is done with his presidency. And that is why Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is not resting nor sleeping but combing every corner of this country to ensure he becomes president to protect, to protect this gain and enhance it to the benefit of all. With the former president, we are not sure of the fate of the free senior high school. He has said he is going to review free senior high school. The question is, what is review? Free senior high school is slim. Of a one financial of the intervention. Free senior high school this is, a is story doing of only one thing, which is to pay for the fees of the children of the senior high school. If you say review, what does it mean? Are you saying that you are going to reduce the amount of money you paid for the parents so the parents would now pay some part and you pay part? Are you saying that you are going to segregate and ensure that or make sure that some parents are paying? Whilst others don't pay, what exactly does review mean? And anytime you ask the former president to tell you about his position on the free SHS, he says, I will review. What is review? Review can mean so many things. Review can mean segregation. Review can mean reducing and making it a discount or sub subsidy. Review can mean so many things. We want to be sure what exactly he means. Parents are having issues. Parents are having challenges. Parents are wondering. Parents are thinking. Parents are struggling. They want to know what the fate 
of this historic policy is beyond Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado. Parents who have experienced this is the story of one of the girls parents who have experienced this policy now in the tertiary students that are the, the outcome uh, or the fate university. of this policy now, we are coming to interview into the today, future. Uh, to find this out is about one of the most the stories impactful about this is not the story one. of one of the, the second or the first was able most to impactful enter social the intervention policy, policy now in the tertiary students at the Takrade uh, Technical University the reason now, why parents across this country uh, to find out are constantly asking stories what happens about uh, to how she high got after into Nana the free senior high school uh, she went to the gate 30 and came out with six how did it happen Let's see. That. This is a story of one of the girls who was able to enter the free senior high school policy. Now in the tertiary city, that's the Takradi uh, Technical University. Now we are coming to interview her today uh, to find out about herself, the stories about uh, how she got into the free senior high school. Uh, she went to the grade 30 and came out with 16. How did it happen? Let's see that. I was central region. Okay. 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 The <laughs> Any improvement of the education, your man can say, "Mukwa Shansi, Mukwa Shansi was 1987 to 90." In fact, in those in the northern region, Omo Ba Omo is the northern region. The Mukwa scholarship are going to his school fees. You see, those in the fan, fan the local area here are one not missing. I'm fancy for us, and for me, you know, you choose school fees. In fact, I'm not going to the Madi Bell Party. Wabua, I can't afford to adapt to the same as I was in the other day. And can't get to the school fees in a while in three years, my end. I'm born here, Papa. In fact, this man, his family, his people, his children, his relations, and so many other people within his community are scratching their heads. They are wondering. And they are asking themselves questions. This policy that is creating a future for their children, what will be the fate? What happens to free senior high school after Nanado Dan Kwai Kofado? After January 7th, 2025. Millions of Ghanaians are asking that question. Millions of Ghanaians are wondering. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is clear. He's been very emphatic. He will protect free senior high school. Free senior high school will be maintained any shape and form, which is to pay for the school fees of every Ghanaian child that is in the near high school. While at that, he will continue the transformational agenda, continue to provide the needed infrastructure, continue to provide the needed amenities to accommodate the numbers that are coming up. Today, house helps, what we used to call mates of children who either two should be in classrooms, but because their parents could not afford, were wasting away. They are in short today in this country. Today, you go to the farming communities, you go to the cocoa growing areas, the mining areas, you go to the areas that children used to wander on the streets because their parents could not afford. They are in classrooms. Today, that child who was all the way in Kasapay and never knew anything about Addis Adel except to see it in the news is in Addis Adel College and is competing with the rich, the affluent, and the all manner of people in this country. We need to protect this policy. If there is anything at all that we need to be mindful of, it is that for the rest of us Ghanaians who are going to be going to the post in December 2024, we need to remember 
that the millions of these children, the millions of children and millions of parents, whose pa who, parents whose children are now coming to the senior high school are counting on us. Uh, their faith is in our hands. Their faith is in our hands because we need to make a choice. A choice to ensure that free SHS is maintained and improved upon, or a choice to leave it in the hands of a man who never believed it in it, spoke against it, is ashamed of its success, and for which reason doesn't want to see it in, 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 in any form, or to leave it in the hands of Dr. Mahmoud Ubaumia, that man who has been part of the implementation of this project, understands the nature and, and, and sense of it, and is willing and ready to pursue it. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's vision on education is clear. It is one to build Ghana, one to leverage on technology, data, and systems for inclusive education. Under a Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's presidency, God willing, in 2025, there will be an enhanced focus on TV education. Dr. Baumia will support and facilitate the establishment of a national open university, University Ghana, in collaboration with the private sector and with focus on technical vocational skills and ICT. And preparing the Ghanaian child for the fourth industri industrial revolution workplace, the MPP presidential candidate, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, will enhance the repositioning of the educational system towards STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths, robotics, artificial intelligence, vocational skills, to cope with the demands of the industri fourth industrial revolution and job creation. That is where the world is moving towards, and that's what Dr. Mahmoud Baumia promises. Again, in the light of the new part in IT, the presidency of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, God willing, in 2025, will also make coding and robotics standard in senior high schools. The foundation has been laid, as we've clearly demonstrated this afternoon. And with the ongoing provision of these tablets to the SHS students, a lot more will be done under a Dr. Mahmoud Baumia presidency. Dr. Baumia will also implement a one student, one laptop policy for tertiary students through the provision of zero interest loan with a 70% discount on the cost of the laptops payable over a period of four years for a tertiary student. For most of us who attended the University of Ghana, the first time we touched a laptop was three, four years after we were done with national service and we had some 500, 600 cities of, of allowances from our jobs. We went through the University of Ghana without ever owning a laptop. And only God knows what we went through to be able to survive this. Today, in the age of Zoom classes, in the, gym, in the age of Teams classes, in the age of assignments and examination being written online, every Ghanaian student in the tertiary institution deserves to have a laptop. You assume every child can afford, that is not the case. The child who couldn't afford in DHS and relied on government to be able to go to GHS. If that same child who is in the senior high school relying on government to be able to go through. And I'm sure you remember Thomas Amwini from Adeso Senior High School, who had eight A's, but was wandering in the farms doing subsistence farming, simply because he could not afford the school fees of Legon. Imagine Thomas Amwini in Legon, and you asking him to go for a virtual class online or via Zoom. Where is Thomas going to afford this to be able to, uh, to, to procure a laptop? Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is promising that every single university student will be given access to the laptop so they can be part of the global digital drive. Dr. Baumia's government will also focus on the special needs education. To start with, Dr. Baumia would ensure that we recruit 1,000 special education teachers and train teachers on how to work with special needs students. Under Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, we will train more speech and language therapists and occupational and behavioral therapists to take care of the vulnerable in social and special needs. Go to our hospitals. When our special needs citizens go to the hospital, how do they communicate and engage with the doctors? How are they communicating with the nurses? Ideally, every hospital, every public space should have a special needs therapist there to support sign language and what have you to support our citizens, our brothers and sisters with special needs. Baumia's government will expand infrastructure at the medical school as well as at the Ghana School of Law to facilitate an increase in admission for students for medical and legal studies. Under Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, I repeat, free senior high school will not be cancelled. Under Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, free senior high school will be retained. Contrary to the intentions of the impotent field, corrupt former president, 
who has pledged to cancel it in the unlikely event that he becomes president. Dr. Bamu Bamu's presidency shall maintain free senior high school and shall expand on the infrastructure and deal with the challenges that comes with it. Free senior high school is not the reason why there may be challenges with feeding in our schools. Free senior high school pays for senior high school pays for the school fees of these children. Free senior high school is not the reason why we don't have enough classrooms. If there is anything, free senior high school has come to show that we should be building several of these classrooms as far back as in 2008 when another Dan envisaged that what President Kufo had done at the basic level was going to have a ripple effect in the senior high school. We just didn't prepare as a country post President Kufo. We just didn't prepare to receive the surge in enrollment in senior high schools and that accounted for over a hundred thousand of BEC students dropping out every year for eight years under the NDC and the CBIT. And so if we had if we have now opened the floodgates, paying fees for these children and the numbers have increased, your idea shouldn't be that we should have a cutoff. The idea is let's find creative ways to accommodate all these children for us to continue on the expansion drive of infrastructure so that every child will have a chance to aspire and dream to be whatever he wants to be in the future. Fellow Ghanaians, the future of our youth is under attack and the perpetrator is no meaner person than the former president of this republic. We all need to come together, all of us, every Ghanaian everywhere. Let's join our voices and our forces together so we do not make the same mistake we made in 2008 when we truncated all the efforts and all the transformation President Kofor was embarking and gave this country to the NDC and they reversed almost single thing we achieved. We need to come together to call the former president out because he needs to stop attacking the students of our beloved country. The persistent attack, a constant ridiculing of our students, teachers and youth is a cause for worry. His threat to review and possibly cancel free senior high school policy has become a scare to millions of parents across the country. It is causing trauma and it's become a mental health issue for the poor who rely on this very important social safety net. He must cease from such reckless commentary immediately. And most importantly, he needs to apologize to the millions of free SHS beneficiaries, their teachers, parents and families without delay. He is causing credibility issues for them. Friends from the media, the MPP has the future of the Ghanaian youth at heart. The MPP and their leader, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, has education at the heart of everything that he does. Our leader, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who has been championing digitalization and preparing this country to embrace the, the world ahead of us, is poised to lead Ghana to be ready for the fourth industrial revolution and we shall achieve and that Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya come January 7th, 2025. Thank you for your attention and thank you for coming. Uh, at this juncture, um, we have our national youth organizer here, of course. Every single comment that the former president is making goes to affect the youth of this country. And it's important that the youth of this country rise up to speak. So I invite the national youth organizer of the new patriotic party, Mr. Mustafa Salam, to, to address us. Thank you very much, my good brother, Miracles. I think you have eloquently shown the nation the unparalleled and unmatched performance of the government of Nanado Danko Kufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia just in the sector of education alone. What we have done today is just education, and it is quite marvelous, quite unspeakable. The, the achievement of the Nanado Adodankwe Kufuado, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia government. As a youth activist, as the national youth organizer for the ruling New Patriotic Party, I am absolutely disgusted by the attitude of the former president. On every single occasion that he speaks, it is difficult not to get angry as to his continuous attack on the credibility integrity, character of young people. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, allow me to address recent remarks made by the perennial presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress, who once again has demonstrated his blatant disregard for the future of our nation's youth. John Mahama 
A.K. Sergeant Lee. In recent derogatory remarks dismissing the government's one student, one laptop policy under the Ghana Smart Schools project as a mere ploy for votes are not only baseless but also a testament to his desperation for power. His disregard for the education and empowerment of our youth is appalling and disgraceful. This clearly portrays John Mahama as someone who cannot think beyond the desire for votes. To him, everything is about elections. He sees these SHS students as ballot papers and not cherished young chaps or future leaders. Meanwhile, John Mahama appears to have forgotten that during his tenure, his government engaged the services of his bosom friend, Roland Agambiri, to implement the same policy, which unfortunately turned into the infamous RLG scandal. The uh, unsanctionable quest for, for, for corruption did not spare such a beautiful policy. They took their great avarice and dangerous attitude into such a beautiful policy which would have impacted the educational journey of our young brothers and sisters. This project was to provide laptops to SHS students just as this government has rolled out successfully. Is John Mahama telling us that he was doing this for just votes? Was he, John Mahama, trying to implement such policy in order to bribe SHS for, for votes at the time? Leaders are supposed to display leaders are not supposed to display such unbridled hypocrisy and dishonesty. Sadly, most of these SHS students are not of voting age and don't have voting rights. So as to how a former president would think that giving well-programmed laptops, tablets to these students to aid their learning and education amounts to bribing them beats every reasonable imagination. In another disgraceful display, ladies and gentlemen, the incompetent one, not long ago, stooped so low to undermine the hard work of our young students by accusing them of cheating at the YCE exams without any tangible evidence. Instead of celebrating their success, he chooses to cast, to cast doubt and to sow discord for his political gain. Obviously, it is his wish that these SHS students failed so that he would use this for his politics as usual and blame MPP government. This is nothing but gross. Absolutely nothing but gross and unacceptable from a person like him. We are through this presser. We are certainly through this presser advising John Mahama to elevate his political discourse and get serious for his fast becoming a walking contradiction. Friends from the media, his proposed solution to youth unemployment by decoupling the Ministry of Youth and Sports is only misguided. It's not only misguided, but it also highlights his lack of understanding of the complexities of the issue. For the avoidance of doubt, sports is one of the means to develop young people. Just like creative arts, how then can you take away the very critical vehicle to the ministry and claim to be solving the problem? Only can answer that question. The same John, is it the same John Mahama that is promising to reduce the number of ministries, now promising to create more? Sergeant Lee never ceases to amaze even the devil himself. On the issue of job creation, let's not forget his abysmal record compared his, let's not forget his abysmal track record compared to the significant strides made by the Akufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia led government which has created in the excess of 2.1 million jobs is the highest record in the fourth republic. Actions speak louder than empty promises. And the incompetent one's record speaks volumes. Clearly, Sergeant Lee has no solution to youth unemployment menace in this country. 
No one under his presidency, Ghana had the association of unemployed graduates. Leadership demands vision, credibility, genuine commitment to progress. The leaders who have led progress in their countries did so with vision, with deep thinking, and hard work. John Mahama has been both president and vice president. Unlike vice president Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who is yet to be president, this notwithstanding, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia stands tall in simple solutions that affect the everyday lives of Ghanaians. His initiatives have occasioned far reaching positive change in our country. He is a thinker, he is a problem solver. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, unlike the twice rejected destroyer, has proven himself incapable of driving positive change through his own initiatives. We cannot afford to retrogress by entrusting our future to someone who has already been tried, tested, and rejected twice for his failure. Shamefully, this person is now deliberately pretending as though he has never been present before and attempting to prey on the emotions of Ghanaians for a comeback. My dear colleague, young people, John Mahama, a.k.a. Sergeant Lee, is a good example of a bad leader that Ghana should avoid in our quest to move to the next level. In conclusion, it would be a grave mistake to backtrack by electing the incompetent one once again. Sergeant Lee has nothing to offer us at this stage. Let's move forward with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, a leader who em embodies the values of progress and prosperity for all. The choice is clear. Ghanaians, especially the youth, are taking a bold step into the future of possibilities for the greater good of Ghana's next chapter. Thank you very much, and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, youth organizer. So, um, they are, they are, yeah, can you understand? They are, can you understand? They are, do I say in a can who boom. Now, maybe I say no down here to talk. Say, I hear any are. Why, Hannah? It's a was I am not near my say. And they were on my penia, what be trimmer. Yet you are my way, I said, I do my soil, you know. One shine ya my. Now, a son is said, went to me, I yea. Now, be about the anti, not doing me now, no, strong up, I didn't know so. I mean, I'm with him. If you cry to where you say, Bibi Koso, Naka Unia Kana Bena, so went to me and Ubiya, a young person become what's in part, because himself Kawa Kamano. Now, yet here in some Yenua, Nancy Mu upon my penny trim, you know, only Mahama. Eh, Papaya, I dig on a sentence, I went to me and Yedumano. I had to a bit here no Kafa. What say, exams and collateral when they had drink? Or say, Gana and Collea Cotro was say, you know, and social or motor and only we Na the anti omo ya de ene se omo ni teacher fo no e ko share de mu tena se e wiya an so hwe no eno tu no omo ya de o du isa se mo enhu a ntiase e enim e sa ne se gba na hayi ye nyine ni se se wa ye ye trezam se no mo publish results na embe na omo publish omo a en so hwe ne ye ko twere no omo di dwumadi bi a na en se ye den en fata e ma mo de no so ye den ato obo nti na mo be kai 2014, 2015, 2016, you know, some social sense of me, a buyer. Yeah, it's if you are trusting your high school, you be seeing almost every year, you know, and you be a cinema. Come to me, I said, it's not a culture on social. No, you have to go for me, sir. Say, oh, yeah, you are more on the moon. Now, attack with your dear, no, 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 Yen yin ya kan hobo mu bi sa o mampeni aye twemu se o ba yen yin aso nti a o de kasa asem no be pema ne o ntumi nyan yin aso no ye den e ma ye ba ye de e ye won wa gana fo be bre yin aso nim sa de we yen won wa mo be kai a 2008 bbc yo 
on my penin for 2008 before in fact about first term no mobile kaiser or no ma primary school ni dhs or the crab be brave by a man school ebay free a day a dual crowd car or mom because this will be oh school fees no on to me to ya and ya no pe it's time to say do you know that my 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 kola no nyama no kore nti akola no kwa mani ya den or mani nko school in fact opa and then cause school sini bia a one crassy or money free sini high school they will tell you say the next villager a war free a war free school feed you know over conan colony in a day a go home say what's the son of you free is feeding if you are not according to the next school who was a sack classroom was why they i am that is how critical and crucial school feeding is to the kids in communities as well but what school feeding in no over conan colony baby a day at if you a colony and all me i'm a district of a school a quotidian of pdr class one on them or coffee up with the new kumye or quiet or who's in a quality and man that will find him and my or walk away a day a quack on who come here just a few minutes away from from a crap but it's on the south school feeding program yeah i'm paying for the buy and see emma enrollment at the primary and junior high school across the way because we will be a queen mama and colano and i'm a new tea and another damn quick for the one down or prayer in 2008 i can't say your man pinnacle for you know and what in so in so 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 pa i want a senior high school no so in tsa you're ready in your share some numbers no and on the money the free senior high school policy or can't want them for 2008 year they buy and so and same way no and this is for good thing i'm going to add better maku 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 edria nine and yet it's your free senior high school it says almost say and your idea of buying the habit to me i am not going to be able to me and come from my area and that's what into the abayi biya yano. Amo ba ebetina kuniya yusu for eight years. Amu tiyo. Amo ba embra no man peni kufu echo. Sambe ni muto na na man peni kufu mbaya. Obi eko muto homa mo prime ni DHSC. Amo ba be rasi ni high school. Into na numbers na yadi adoso. Sini high school classroom blocks no endoso esusa. Into nukola i ba be bre. Into adaya wongo no endoso. Ni ama mienu adaya endoso nti yadi bivi afra ne cut off point yadi abba. Into kwa brigi osa. A dino bet me up on Kola 500 pet. In Tinkola, I apply for a big girl, you know. A mu thousand five, and I apply here. Out of the thousand five, six hundred in your grade six. No more can in between grade eight and ten. And so I call on your grade eight and ten. Yes, so I'm born to me in court a big girl. Near Yina Cotina and Chain. It's an essay, big girls are dying on a day. And also, it takes eight good years. And Sanana Dunk will go for the Enya Hokkien Abba. Now, all the free senior high school, Eden Eba. 2017, you had a free senior high school by a moon in a moon as soon 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 soon. In Colorado, a person across the Kennedy School, no, a double, and so now I die on better media day, anyhow. And no, the Maya, the double track by a ne, yes, you see, I die in the baby. I'm a school, see the baby, and I die. When you go to a lot of these schools, Oko, a bridge house, numbers not double, Oko, Preseca, Omukra times two. Me and you come, Oko, Apman School, numbers no higher times two. It's on the school, dying dormitory blocks, any dining halls are by a day. Isi ya kano, ada nti, ena sasa ya akolebi eke trefi, ena sasa ya banyi nti mi nsi school dain. Ada nti, ena sasa ya ma enkolebi ya school fiza ne bwa dain, ena sasa ya pesi ya tiso ne bimu katrefi, because omo ba ni ni bibi emamu ya dain, enda, eno ena ma free senior high school ya dain, eba ya free senior high school, eno ena ni ada nti enkolebi edi emu enkwai gunchain, niko boarding school kwa mani ya ubiri efanye gas, emu no. Utia, and this was in 2002, 2000, 2001, 99, 98, 2000, 2002. Utia mono, now utiga se ne gusua, ne kwa ne gunchain, ne mono yade e gunchain, yedi ye, ye kusku niye, ye kwa dining hola, e diani yedi siwa, yasiskate, wanyo wenye bindi, yedi ye, ye kusku niye, ukwa dining na napa, siwa, ye pantry phone yedi siwa. Yeah, channel. Yeah, but tell them you have to pay more. Channel. Yes, when you be, you cost too much. Yeah, yeah. And none should say. As I say, a man can only be a day. A cat is free. A quality of our address to Presby Senior High School. No, the situation of women are not easy. Or you hear me on this channel. Ono onyaya anko bebe school na na jubi awe diga we no wetimi a cost too much. It is a quality. On case that because of the challenges and difficulties of the sort. I say, a buy in pay. The first one, challenges and difficulties, you be free, but at the same time, no, your man, you can't know your day.
onko sku ye ye sa no ma we nyina yi o ma mpeni nda ne ne ndisi aban ese gana for emba ay kosini a high school no quality of education at the chena ye chenu akofem o mu chase ka no 2018 e kan ya be pem 2019 up until the time an kwala na bi kan di o mu so hwe resource ye dey e ba ye e bu suafo e wi asimu ade chere e kwaye ye fa so ye sese e ka wi se akwala wo chena de we hu anase wo hu ye ene so hwe meboa enti ye be twa on so hwe na fe mu se ah se so hwe di an kwala ye yi o mu ye ade akura se de a adada fo na ne ye se o mu ye dada mba fo na ye se o mu de eska fo nko na na e ko na o mu di jolo fo nko ano o mu so hwe no ene fo no o mu ye ade se o mu na chere se ene no adisiona ko enu e se o mu ana meboa but esta ne se o ma mpeni dada ene ne party egu hu finti na eni o aka o mu eni mgu ase akomo o ma fere na se o mpe o be ji mu se wa fere nti de o be ne se o mu ye ade because o mu wi aye i say one o kra at a compound house na de bia o ka asemtia o de bia o ka asemtia o na so de o tu mi ye baby na ade be chire be mu se wa ye den wa ye o se oh we an ye we an ka o tu mi ye sa pe na ndc ene omo kendi for e dey e ye e fa free senior high school in kolei hu de e ka nyina ne se ye jitu mu de hia ne se akole bi enye school no ko na ye jitu mu se challenges ne difficulties ye dey e wo ho it was there in 1999 challenges ye wo ene yi it was there in 1998 na wo ho 2000 na wo ho 2001 dia e ye aban aso die se se ye ne se embre bia no ye be hwe ne yasaka ne amam ne ama ne ama ye den akonanim ne mo ye nka da se esa ne se ye challenges ni different sinti ye the free senior school be den e be to nche ya che e wi awe in sakra ye de ba tvet ana technical ni vocational en kan na technical ni vocational se be se be ye se kola abo na ekko en kola no ye chicha na ye se okosu akwa vocational school en sa kola we do ya de ye fa no ko technical school we have embre and for a very long time ya yeah, the tvet no ana technical no ya yeah, ya no ya yeah, dane no upside down o kwa broche memu a singapore indonesia eh, korea korea ni japan ni adia e yen kola aben in the court technical and vocational school because omo no mo ba e eh, shekas omo no mo ba e eh, ye microphone omo no mo ba e eh, ye e eh, fene se mobile phones e eh, no mo hwe emfoni ni videos e eh, dia chemu ya e eh, woganda ha ya yeah, the workshops are used to germany workshops are used to south korea singapore in asia and e dia bagana ya jidi se and feel kakre be free and e ko no niamma bebere be sakra e ma gana for man so etume ne amaya maya hodo nko la ye den apre akomani mu em pem pem so aye wo ne yi won prepare wo ba no amana ye ready for future e dey ni mu a embre no so a obeke chi enu nti e na sa wote se o man pani bi a ba twem e ka se ye nu pem pem so e se se ye maye ma tableta no wa se ne hu ene ye wo gana phobia ye ma e wo class 1 nso mu kura laptops macbook ye wo gana phobia ye wo nkona la 3 3 months o tablet amano ye wo nkola tablet 6 months na tablet e da kola empaso mu mi se ma mpeni a wetwe mu se ne ma ne nyina omumu kwan e na na wo primary school ka no ni tablet e ba nei e na yen ya ya kan yen ba de aban ntumi nto tablet e ma de yen yusu wo ba etumi yusu tablet wo bra oswa na ye de yen ma wo bra wo secondary school no o yusu tablet a enye ye ye de ye se enye de a ono ka e de ye de be ya adwuma de be bo aga na fo mba de be bo aga na awofo de be bo aga na etitcha fo e ne ye de e be ye adwuma o ma mpeni dota mamud ba o mi asem o ka nyina ne se nyo ma ya ye nyina ya ka won se nyina yi ye to aba ma no no be bo ho ban o won ne pa bebere a o de be to ne me pa ya ye to se ne be ya ye be bo ene pa ya ye e ho ban vocational schools are mature here stem schools are mature here creative arts schools are mature here model jhs schools are mature here otra modern kg blocks are mature here yeah. e sese ye de sa enepe ye den e be wi ye sam from so bi na ye 2008 aye dane to me e ma ndc aban after president kofo a omo sign in the part president kofo aye nyina a omo ntumi ambon ho ban ato aso no ye mpese ye be ye sam from so no come 2024 niamma bebere and a by way aye in the education sector dodo na so na aka ye wie ya ese se ye ye eto aso ye ke nyana se mumma dr 
tama mudu ba miyako na ononso ni diya ewo ni muno na ononso enfanche gana mai ya damasi bebre ya misha mu nase mabeka ya hon e nesa de until we take a few questions and then we'll wrap up please hello hello hello